Today on Comfort Country Explore the Four, we're in Gilmore at the Kijik Canoe Company and I'm with owner Michael Dearborn. Michael, first of all, tell us what Kijik means. Kijik means uh, Algonquin, it's an Algonquin Indian word meaning cedar. Cedar, okay, which leads us to what you do yeah. and you make your canoes out of cedar. Our canoes are made out of eastern white cedar mm -hmm. uh, for a couple of reasons. It's lightweight, it's very buoyant, and it's very rot resistant. That's uh, one of the advantages of cedar. Okay. And you make everything by hand? We've made the, bent the stem. Stem? Stem is bent. We've attached the in whales right. to, to our form. We've steamed and bent the ribs and nailed them to the in whales. And now I'm in the process of nailing the sheeting onto the ribs. Okay. And so from, we were talking about this earlier, that to start to finish uh, to make a canoe takes a long time. 75 hours. But 75 over. hours over? Two months. Two months. So yeah, it's not just a, a couple of weeks worth. It goes. It's no. a long process. So once you finish this, um, what's the next step? The next step is to get this off the form. We remove all the clamps, prop, pop it off the form, turn it right side up, and then start finishing it from the inside out. Okay. Uh, is that the varnishing start? You start then? No. Or? We. No. The first thing we'd do is put the decks, install the decks. Okay. Uh, and then we would uh, attach the ends the sheeting to the ends, nail it on right. to give it the proper shape, a nice alignment. And then we would put the thwarts in and then we would start varnishing. Okay, well we'll take a look here because this is one that's actually being repaired. That's right. But we can see the varnish that you've done. How many coats of varnish does it take? Well, on a new canoe it's four, four coats of varnish okay. and on a repair I generally do two or three. But because this has got some new woodwork, there's a few right. new ribs and some that, new yeah. sheeting. Mm -hmm. Then I had to put at least three new three coats of uh, varnish on the new wood. Okay. So this one's had three coats. And this is one you built. That is. How long ago? 1995. Okay. It's, uh, I built it for a couple, and uh, they just used the heck out of it. So this is your first the first repair on it. Oh yeah. So that's a very good uh, yeah. uh, thing for you. Uh, so this is the canvas that you use, and this one will eventually have canvas on yep. it. So now when you're repairing it, you have to replace the canvas. That's right. And once you, once this one, the new one that you're building gets the canvas on, what's the next step? The next step is waterproofing the canvas. So I have to hand rub. Which is good for a canoe. <laughs> yeah. I have to hand rub uh, waterproofing in, and that does two things. It keeps the water out, mm -hmm. and it also protects the canvas from rot. Okay. And, and then and after four coats of the hand rubbing, oh. I do uh, four coats of uh, marine enamel. So basically, after the paint dries, then they're ready to hit the water. Correct. Right. So uh, how long have you been doing this, Michael? Well, building canoes for 25 years, repairing for about 30. And how long have you been canoeing? Oh, geez, since the uh, early 70s. All right, so you have a real passion for this. Oh, that's how You we... actually moved up here so you could canoe. Right. We bought the property because we're on water and we were close to Algonquin Park. Right. We, we do like canoeing. This is a perfect business yeah. for you then. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Michael, for letting us visit you. So for this time on Comfort Country Explore the Four, we are at the Kijik Canoe Company in Gilmore. Thanks for joining us. I'm Joanne Hartman. Explore the Four is brought to you by Comfort Country, featuring the communities of Maydock, Marmara, Tweed, and Sterling.